You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, Derek. Are Derek. we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. Oh, you're great. I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're Nev so Nips. Great. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Really let's good. not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. You're <laughs> probably going to sing anyway, so we might as well just use it. That's a good point. I'm... You're great. You're great. You're great. You're the best. You're making fierce eye contact. You're great. I'm working on it. I appreciate you being focused on what we're doing. I'm focused. Good job. I'm not talking about Twitter or fish sticks. (laughs) We're going to get to that later, but welcome to the Hug Life Podcast. I'm Mike Coletta. And I am Monica Marie (laughs) Nevy. And my social security number is... And my social security number is six three (laughs) five. Because I'm 100. Yep. You're really old. Or are you 10? I don't know. No, you'd be 10 first, huh? Uh, now I'm trying to think what mine is. Uh-oh. <laughs> you don't know what yours do. starts with. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter anyways. Uh, yep, welcome to our podcast. This is our podcast. I'm excited. It's just the two of us today. We're going to be happy for We can make it if we try. One hour. For one whole hour. We're going to make it. Rain smiles. It's rain and smiles. It's in this rain bitch. and smiles. <laughs> Holy shit, this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really scary. That would be like, scary. Like, oh, oh, this is okay. so terrifying. Let's say everything. Why are, mm-hmm. Where are these smiles coming from? Where are these smiles coming? Let's plug our shows. Monica, do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, tonight, when this comes out, the uh, 16th of November. November. I am at the Hollywood Laugh Factory at 8 p.m. Tomorrow, that Thursday, the 17th, the Comedy Palace in L.A., which is a lovely... It's a great yeah, place. Chinese it's restaurant. It's a really good Chinese restaurant. Thai I might go with you to see something. Chinese food. I'm not sure. It's for free. Uh, and then uh, next week, I'll be back up in the lovely Pacific Northwest Pacific for Northwest. the holidays. My first show is the 23rd of November, Thanksgiving Eve, <gasps> if you will. Your turkey's going to uh, come down your chimney and give you presents. It's come a comedy club. It's Jose Bolaños, like pre-thanksgiving show are you gonna are you gonna party 7 30 p.m uh i don't probably not probably not i want to go bowling but i don't uh intend on i like to be present for my family gatherings that means you're partying yeah that's a good birthday party uh Mm -hmm. and then the 26th i'm at mobster mike's in bremerton um and then all the other dates for when i'm home are on my website monica i'll make some posts on my fan page and whatnot if you haven't already liked that please do so who's mobster mike uh i can't tell you okay because he's stealing my thunder he's in the mafia Oh in gosh. Bremerton. In Bremerton? The Bremerton Mafia. Bremerton Mafia. Also known as the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, monicanavy.com. Check out all those dates. I am December 10th in the Legacy Room. And then, uh, that's in uh, Chino. Chino, California. Oh, but yeah. then after that, I go to the, the Seattle as well. Yay. And I'm there for like a month and a half. And I have a bunch of shows, and I'm going to be on my website and check them out. You have some Oregon stuff too, right? I have. Oh, yeah, yeah I have Oregon stuff before. So I'm going to be in Medford, Oregon. On shit, oh, should have prepared. Mean to like make you, you just like, threw me under the bus a little bit. Sorry, I didn't okay. realize you okay, actually, were skipping your own schedule. I'm going to be in Coos Bay on the 14th yeah, at the Mill Coos Casino, Bay. and then I'm going to be in uh, the 16th and 17th of December. I'm going to be in Medford at Chadwick's, and then I come back, and then I do like the parlor, and then I do Spokane Comedy Club, and then the Comedy Underground, and then I do Tacoma. Oh, I mean, yeah, I thought we were going to skip that. Nope, stuff, but nope. Okay, now we're going for it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm, just try- it? I'm really is just it trying Coletta to. Comedy? It's Coletta Comedy. I'm really just Got trying it. to prove to the audience I'm still a comedian. What's going on right now? <laughs> Are you proving to the audience <laughs> yeah. or yourself? Yeah, myself and okay, my audience. Cool. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> then, uh, yeah, don't forget you can go to Amazon and you could buy yourself a Santa hat. Santa hat or... Uh a gift for mm-hmm. someone else, you, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's holiday season. Use our banner. Can you order booze on Amazon? I do. I think you can because, especially if you're in Seattle, because you can do the Amazon Now thing where they deliver it uh, to so you. Oh, so it's just like grocery type stuff? So let me see. I mean, that was just, a, you know, I'm thinking holiday gatherings. How do you get through it? Booze. <laughs> the first, when you type booze and you put on, the first thing that comes up is a cruise. <laughs> booze yeah, on a cruise. Yeah, booze cruise. And then if you type in booze on a AM, the first thing that comes up is Amtrak. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Amtrak. <drunk. laughs> yeah. They're like, mm, why are trains So they great? definitely sell liquor and spirits on Amazon. So get yourself some hey. a bottle of Christmas cheer after going to the HugLifePodcast.com. Well, huglifepodcast.com. <laughs> it the. changes every week. I don't know, you guys. Hu- I don't know to, what our fucking website go is to anymore. Go to huglifepodcast.com, click on the banner, 
shop as you normally would, and mm-hmm. then we get a little something something. Normally just purchase it. And that something something goes directly to support our lives in yeah. the podcast. Yes. And uh, all that stuff. Do it. Anyways. Do it to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, we love you guys. I appreciate everybody who, who's used it, actually, because there are people who use it. It really for a lot helps of stuff. us out. It and helps us pay great. for the hosting, it helps and us pay for our great. internet. <laughs> It helps me pay for um, my terrible um, addiction to fish sticks. Fish sticks. There you go. I am gonna tell that story in a second, but you are. Yeah, uh, but That's first, okay. so I was just thinking, gifts. A great gift for for all the hug bugs in your life is uh-huh. our shirts. Yeah, you, we got new ones, red ones that say you're yeah. great, and mm-hmm. then a gray version of the hug life chose me, uh, and you can get those. Well, monicanevy.com really is the easiest yeah, way to do it. Monicanevy.com, buy my stuff button, and then it takes you right to the store, and they're yeah. all there. There's still a couple of the other colors, and um, uh, the you know whatever yeah. the old year great ones. There's like a couple of each yeah. of each color, so you could still get those if you wanted. If you want to do that, fit. you could. But I really like the red ones. Actually, I really like the new ones and the gray ones and the gray ones. I like it too. Um, and then I like them both. If you order it there, I'll just mail it to you. She'll mail it to you. Pretty easy. We went to FedEx today. We did go to FedEx. So I could print stuff, but still. Mm -hmm. It was still (laughs) fun. It's easy to go to. Had a good time. Yep. Uh, Uh, Oh, don't forget you can rate and review and subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. I was just reading what the last one was. I was just checking. Last one, the last review we got was in September. It was late September. So I'll take it. It was very nice, very short, but. That was a while ago. But I would love it if, you know, maybe somebody else. We have 20 now, right? Yep. We have 20 reviews. Uh, I really like, I'll draw you a picture. She'll draw you a picture. Let's get back into that. Who wants a holiday picture? I'll send you a tasteful nude photo. Yeah. Oh, lexical embrace to all the people who sent me pictures on Snapchat of Andy Dick. Oh, yeah. And more than one person was like, oh, you want dick pics? Here you go. (laughs) This is not what I wanted, but. Thank you for the effort, I guess. I enjoy uh, it. Yeah, I think it was funny. Um, I think that's the plugs. It might be the fastest yeah, yeah, we've yeah. ever done plugs. I, I was know. really Speed going plugs. for it. Speed plugs. <laughs> um, Sounds like a butt weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> a butt weird thing. Uh, do you have any lexical embraces? I have two lex. Well, one of them might be yours. I don't want to steal I don't yours. know. No, no. You go. My first yeah, lexical embrace first. is to my dear, dear mother who just had knee surgery. Feel better, mama. And she is now on Oxycontin. Captain Iron Pace. Is it Oxycontin or Oxycodin? Well, those are two different things. Oh, I don't know which one she has, she but she's got one of them. Cotton, which is like the hardcore, harder of the hardcore two, parkour but, one. And yeah. then uh, calling your mom on drugs. Hilarious. Uh, fun stuff. Done it in the car twice with Monica just to make sure we could talk about it. <laughs> she was great. <laughs> My She's favorite thing yesterday was when you were like, oh yeah, well what about this album? And she goes, she answered it wrong. And then she goes, I don't know, I took drugs. <laughs> that was just her answer. Oh, she also wanted us to tell everybody that... Um, you can live the 60s in your 60s? That's what it is, yep. She's thinking about making shirts. Uh, say, live the 60s in your 60s. Live the 60s in your 60s. Mm-hmm. Free love. Yeah. Drugs. Drugs. Rainbow color clothing boats boats i don't know is that a 60s thing or is I mean, that i feel like you? boats has been kind of an all-time thing yeah boats and hoes mm-hmm. all time that's right <laughs> second lexical embrace christmas at costco yes because there's so much christmas stuff at costco right now and it's I fantastic threatened to both lexically and physically embrace costco mm-hmm. how would you, how would you physically embrace costco i was just gonna hug all the christmas trees they already had up oh that's good i did actually that's what when you were standing in line that's what i went and did that's creepy they have some interesting they have a holiday elk which i found offensive it was and, 82 uh, inches tall it's pretty big and you know just in case you want to run something over when you get home it's <laughs> <laughs> right there uh they also had some other like giant ornaments that light up and stuff. yeah i liked so, all the wreaths <laughs> we also don't work for them i don't know why i'm just describing to you i want to work for them i might just quit everything and become a costco person there was you know i know we're trying to be positive all the time but there was one thing that upset me that i just want to be honest with everybody about and that's okay. that we live here Okay. And it's 70 degrees and cold. Yeah. Today is cold and it's 70 degrees. Uh, and the only sweaters. Yeah. And like sweaters in the, and in heavy the clothing. coats. Yeah. In the clothing area, only sweaters. Mm-hmm. No tank tops, nothing. Yeah. It's really dumb. I get it. It's from Washington, Kirkland. Maybe they're just like, hey, we'll do the same clothes in every Costco. Yeah. And then 
Bring your kids right after school. But then I wanted to yell at everyone's children. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. But other than that, Costco, fantastic. Do you have another lexical embrace? Nope. No? Actually, <clears throat> there was some I wanted to do last week that I didn't get to. You didn't get to it last week? Was it complimenting me? Uh, oh. I don't think it was, you guys. Uh, no, but I was gonna, I was gonna tell the fish stick story here in a second. Oh, uh, no. Lexical embraces from last week that I didn't get to. Hug bug, uh, Amani. Because Amani. He shares like all the stuff that we put up and I appreciate that. Speaking of sharing things, everybody that shared my meditation for November, I appreciate that. If you haven't already seen it, there's a video on Facebook. That's my new meditation. Is it also on YouTube? It is also on YouTube, yes. Is it on Vimeo? Mellowing out with Monica. Is it on Vimeo? No, it's not on Vimeo. Is it on Amazon Prime now? Why are you doing this? Because it's fun. It's unnecessary. (laughs) No, I told you the two fucking places it is. (laughs) You can check it out. It's on Reddit. It's on Reddit. Yeah, because I kind of like it when people are mean to me. That's unhealthy, but okay. Now, if they liked this one... It's a, it's more of like my blog posts that they get a little sassy sometimes. Sassafras? <laughs> kind of makes me happy though. <laughs> Sarsaparilla? Mm-hmm. Anyways. Other drinks that have sass in them? Yeah. Thanks for listening to my meditation. Mm-hmm. I All right. It. All That's right. That's embraces. Okay. Next step. Positive spin? Fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks story. I want to lexically embrace Mike because... <gasps> uh, <laughs> Why because it makes him so excited. Suddenly up. I was gonna sing it in the background while you told it. It was too loud though. Why do birds <laughs> suddenly up? We were it was just the fact that you really found something very positive today. I thought that like you were just like, Hey, this good thing just happened and you took the time to like say it out loud. And it made me laugh really fucking hard, but still. So we're in the car. We go to Costco. We grab a couple frozen food items, toilet paper, <laughs> vitamins, because we <laughs> we always share vitamins. They're gummy vitamins, anyways. And uh, we're we have in the really car. good fingernails and hair. Yeah, it, we got in the car. It was a little bit of a moment of silence, like we were just driving. I and hate he those. goes, "You know what? Like a week ago, I did think." man, I don't eat fish sticks very often anymore. <laughs> and now I got them. And I was like, I just laughed so fucking hard at the thought that you remembered that you, at some moment last week, were like, you know what? I haven't had fish sticks in a long time. Mm-hmm. And then you, like you were conscious enough to be like, hey, I did this thing that I wanted to do. And I did it today. And I bought these fish sticks. And now I have fish sticks. It was like a good, it was a great thing. Well, what's funny is if you kind were of in or not in the car, it wouldn't have mattered. I would have said it. Anyway, it was kind of like where it was at right now. I kind of forgot you were next to me and I was saying it. Well, I, I've done that in the car with, I did that in the car with Yogi one time where I just started talking to myself for like three minutes and he, I turn and I'm like, oh, you're there. He's like, what are you doing? Like, but it was just like the fact that it was kind of a really a positive thought. You're like, you know what? I, I wanted fish sticks and now I have fish sticks. Yeah, it's this the little awesome. things. And they're like good fish sticks too. They're like panko breaded Alaskan cod. Ooh. Go. You guys want to come over for some fish sticks? <laughs> uh, so there you go. That's your lexical embrace. You're really fine and something good, man. I All appreciate right. it. Yeah, you. I, I, I like what you did with the Christmas tin. Oh, thank you. And you put all the hooker cards I in it. I put all the yeah. hooker cards in it, so we know where the hooker death match cards are. Mm-hmm. It's important. I feel like we need to get some new cards, though. I know. Somebody hooker said death they match. were going to Snapchat me pictures of theirs. Hooker death match is kind of like Cards Against Humanity, where after a while you need to get new packs. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Even though I don't really like Cards Against Humanity, but it's still like one but of those But everyone loves Hooker Deathmatch. So. Everyone loves Hooker... Do you like the game Cards Against Humanity? I'm okay with it. I feel like I it's feel just... I feel like it's, it makes everyone feel like they're a comedian and that drives yeah, me crazy. Yeah, that does too. But, it's, but it's funny when someone really eats it hard on it. Yeah. Some, like, it, same with Apples to Apples. Like if someone plays well, Apples some, to Apples yeah, and they're like, you run out of and they're like, what? <laughs> You're like, no. And I argue for every, like, when we play games, I argue for everything. So I'm (laughs) I'm like, come on, that makes sense. Monica's the reason I don't want to play Scategories anymore. (laughs) That was fair, competitive nature. It made sense. I just argue till the death about whether I'm right or wrong. It comes from sports. You knock it out of bounds. You don't never say it was you. What if the ref didn't see it? Then what if it was clearly you, though? That's why I don't understand. Competition is not the place for morals, 
Mike. Is that like when I'm playing video games and somebody... You suck at them? I'm really good at it. Monica's <laughs> so mean to me, you guys. This is her running joke where she's like, oh, you suck at video games. I'm talking to my friends on the internet, having fun, reconnecting old flames. I have to listen to it, though. Do you the call whole friends time old, flames? <laughs> old flames? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just assumed that you've been having sex with these dudes. With all of my friends. Yeah. <laughs> All old flames. You know my, I don't think any of them listen to my the fantasy football uh, league of old flames. That's <laughs> who it is. But, but I think that's just a, a dating thing. But, but like yeah. I was saying though, like because they the like friendship flame. Me myself too. If I get shot and it's at all questionable, I instantly am like, oh, that guy fucking did that. Yeah. Like for sure. Like that. But like people just claiming everyone's cheating all the time on video games. That's yeah, what's really funny. It's never a cheating thing. I just you know. I'll argue my point until I win. That's it. But you didn't win. What was the, the word? I, won. I don't even remember what this category word was. It was uh, a title. Oh, that's was. right. And we were like barren. They said barren. And I said bartender, like a job title. And then we had to like argue we it for like a while English. and then wait until everybody came back to vote. And so we I were also all they still drinking. gave it to me. But yeah, yeah. But it's not like you guys weren't wrong. On your part, you know, Baron makes sense as well. But there's also other types of titles. <laughs> so there you go. Um, <laughs> you, could said, you could just put land. It's a land title. Well, it um, started with a B. So Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know if you remember how to place category. Could you put bitch? <laughs> What's my title? I, d- I joked about putting it. Didn't someone? I think someone put bitch, actually. It's candy. Anyways. What about butcher? Yeah. Let's play the game right now. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do, uh, oh yeah, okay. I do um, like games. Yeah. Love games. I love games. I love categories too. We played last Thanksgiving, and one round I put dick for every single answer. Why though? This is fun. Did it work? Did you get points? There, I mean, it made sense. It wasn't like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought you cousins. couldn't we repeat though answers. Everyone to. Isn't that one of the rules though? I don't know. Not in our game. Oh damn! We mm-hmm. also played Jenga. Yeah. Which is very much like right. a game that wasn't as fun as I thought it was well, as a yeah. kid. Like I, it kind of bummed me out. It's, oh. It makes me anxious, like oh. more anxious than I thought it would. But also, then they started flicking, and I was like, "No, I'm out." Can I ask you a question that's very important? When I ask everyone this about when your childhood. Okay. Did you ever play a successful game of Mousetrap? The board game Mousetrap. That's I never funny did specifically that you bring it up because. Um, we never, that was a game I tried to play all the time and we never had all the pieces. See, that's the thing about Ever. it is you'd either lose the pieces or it would just devolve into me and my brother trying to set the trap off all the time yeah. and no one would play it. Like, I don't even know how to play the game. Like what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to like get cheese or something like that <laughs> as you're a mouse, you're supposed to get cheese. Right. Someone explained it. If someone email us at huglifepodcast at gmail.com and Tell us how, how to, to play, play mousetrap. mousetrap. <laughs> I could Google this. I want, or actually, I don't want you to. I don't want you to tell me how to. I want you to tell me you did play it. Yeah. If someone did play and it, who won? or tweet at us at me, Coletta at Monica Nevy. Yeah. Um. I did set it up completely when I worked with the kids. And it worked, and they played it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you sound really but we set it nope. up because well, in my head i was like did we like we set it up all the way but i remember them getting frustrated because the other ones kept trying to set it off and one of the marbles we didn't have the right marble and it wasn't heavy enough that's what happened it wasn't heavy enough so when it mm. landed in the bucket it didn't actually make the guy like jump off or whatever Dude, that is one of my big pet peeves is when you play a game and you don't finish it like people just all quit like Monopoly. Monopoly so is one of them. Risk is another one. Monopoly. Risk is just ridiculous. Like Risk, you have to eventually just call it because it takes fucking forever. Right. And then there was a game that I would play in college <laughs> called Axis and Allies. I've it's like a World War II risk combination game. Very complex. I feel like takes a really long time to set up. Cameron and Kira used to play that. Dude, it's... I can't believe they would play it. It's just crazy. It just takes so long. It's such a long game. It's a marathon game. Off topic, positive spin. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Okay, are we going positive spins now? I'm going now? positive spin now. Besides, you know, family time and playing games or whatever. Monica uh, likes family pos- time. I love family time. I got a cool fam, though. Um, positive spin. 
Amusement parks. Amusement parks. And you love amusement parks. How do you parks. like me? How do you like me? I do, I do love amusement parks. Okay, and I don't really. You don't like them? No, I like... Do you remember this moment? This is the moment the podcast breakup happened. This is what did it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, all right. I just gave you a wonderful lexical embrace, and now you're just going to forget all of that? Let's get a breakup with you right now. All my support over your fish stick bullshit. It's too much. <laughs> too much. <sighs> Why don't you like amusement parks? Tell me. Okay. I don't like rides. You can still have fun without going to rides. I know, I know, I know. So, but it's, there's a lot of people. So I think there's ways to do it correctly, which we may need a little bit more input from you. I like Disney. So characters from Disney, that does it for me. I'm cool. I'll go, I'll take photos and I want to meet the princesses and stuff. If we go, if you and I Mm -hmm. got on a plane, and in this situation we have lots of money because we've been on a plane. That was my first question. I was like, how are we We get on a plane, we go to Disney World in Florida. Which I've been to. We go to Epcot Center. Yes. And I'm like, hey, Monica, my favorite ride's in Epcot Center. It's the one where you get in a boat and they explain to you the future of farming. Would you like to come with me? I would, would you do say that. yes? Yeah, I'd be in there. I love that one. That's my favorite I one. I never... Uh, you just don't like I fast don't rides that, that may see any sorts of... What like about Space coasters. Mountain? Space yeah. Mountain? I never went on Space Mountain. The only real roller coaster I went on at Disney World was the Aerosmith ride. The rock and roller coaster? Yeah, and it That's was great. Like dark. Ma- so magnet powered. Yeah, but the, the first part did not go well for me. Uh, but then the rest of it Do you get was sweaty fine. and anxious? Yeah, I just kind of tighten up. Ugh, like that. That's upsetting. Yep. What if we go on a rides and I put you in a thunder jacket? I don't know what jacket. A thunder jacket that dogs wear to hold, make them feel tight and safe. Oh, huh. it's like a hug jacket. Yeah, we should sell those. Um, they should sell them for, for people. people. Yeah, yeah. I bet you they do have those. But you could just go buy a really tight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I know. I I used to have kids that were on the autism spectrum that really like they would like, squeeze stuff sometimes. Uh-huh. Like that was it's like a. It's like a like your face. tactical thing. Like you talk to them and they would like, do, like hug you really hard. Like they would squeeze you really hard. Uh, I, I do that. And I feel like that would, like a jacket like that might help. I like to hug people might, really hard. I like that. Anyways. Um, just so really we get, get a, th- a, a hug jacket for me. Yeah. I don't know if it would really. I just feel like it's weird maybe. to not go on Space Mountain. That's one of those things in my life where I'm like, that's an experience. It's like a legendary roller coaster. I still like, like I can go to amusement parks for the other things. I like games. I like. So do you like going to the Puyallup Fair and throwing the rings at the bottles? Yeah. You love the basketball game at Dave and Buster's because mm-hmm. you're a basketball person. <laughs> yep. What Sorry. was that? Somebody messaged me on Facebook. Oh, geez. Sorry, Someone's blowing up. Great. Mm-hmm. Thought someone sent you another nudie pic. Not on Facebook. Naked picture it's on Facebook. Snapchat's for it. People you. just keep posting naked pictures to my wall <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> I don't think you guys know how to do this yeah, right. Yeah. What? That's not what I asked for. Um. So you don't like because rides only? Well, I just feel like, well, and a lot of people. Do you mind? Cr- you don't like crowds. Lo- I don't yeah, like crowds either, but I like amusement parks I still. Wanna I don't want to wait get past in it. line unless I really want to see something. So I think you could do it. You know, maybe like a weekday when there's less people or whatever. I will say yeah. that when I did go to Disney World, it was Christmas time and that castle can get it. You know what I mean? You love Saw the castle? lights and, and Christmas like parade thing. Did you make you cry? Uh, No, but I was very excited, which does is hard How to do. How old were you? 20. 20? How old are you now? 48? <laughs> 26. 26? Yep. 26 going on 72. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a real quick decline on this mm-hmm. side of the table here. Um, no, Mandy worked there. Oh, Mandy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was a princess. She was a princess? Yep. Did she like the park? Like, Did she like working for them? Yeah, she did. That's I think. cool. Yeah, That's it was good. And then so I got to go with her on one of her days off, and that was fun. And she was um, good about the fact that I didn't like a lot of roller coasters. Because there's other rides, like there's the uh, the under the sea Nemo ride where you're in the Nemo clamshell and you just kind of run around, you're like ooh, it's just like it's slowly on a track. Uh, we did. It's something meant for kids. We did dinosaur one that actually kind of scared the me. The dinosaur one's great. There was like a T Rex right here, so our picture is mm-hmm. like right with it, and everyone's like ha ha, and then I'm like oh god, like leaning away from <laughs> it. I'm such a baby sometimes. Um, then we did like. 
We did teacups. Teacups. That's a good one. That's one I actually haven't done that I, I want do to spins. do. I can do spins. Spins are okay for me. Spending? Spending's fine? Yeah. What's going on, dog? Uh, I'm just making sure that like I can't really read it very well in the light. <laughs> make sure the battery's okay. You're just checking to see if you can't read it. The battery uh, might die, and if uh, that's the case, then we'll just do another. We'll just stop it and put another battery, yeah, yeah, and then we'll it'll be, be a two-parter. Uh-huh. Um, but it'll be in one part. And then we did this like one where a Peter Pan one where you were like in the that's boat a fun that was floating. One. That mm-hmm. was cool. Slow motion. I like to look at shit. I don't you like want to look at flip slowly? upside down and stuff. I don't like that. See, I love that. I love all that stuff. Yeah, you can do that, but I do really like like castles well we know that well that's why i'm thinking you would love the harry potter ride is it because the harry potter ride is not it's in a castle and it's not a roller coaster technically what you are is you're on this like articulating arm thing and it's like a big platform and you're all sitting on it so there's like a group of you on it and it moves and it like and there's a screen in front of you and you like fly through the air it's like a digital ride but it's Some not technically it doesn't stuff. it doesn't flip upside down it doesn't do anything like it just like glides kind of mabes yeah and then there's also really cool roller coasters in the harry potter i area. think i'm more like to like i want to like meet you know the princesses and go in the castle so that's pretty much all i want to do if that could just be one amusement park was just princesses that'd be cool like just a princess park Sounds like a porno Ooh. place. <laughs> Sounds like a princess park. Porn place. Okay. It's porn amusement park. Let's not. Ro- Do they have those? I don't think so, but I just made a great idea. Yeah, I would reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure they have like a like porn rise. museum, right? This, not really oh, this amusement gotta park. be a porn yeah, museum. Be a porn Dude, museum. I'm googling this right now. That has to be a real thing. I would and work at the porn amusement park and. Just run games of hooker deathmatch. The Erotic Heritage Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, there it is. There it is. The Makes Hollywood sense. Erotic a, a Museum. Wait. On Hollywood, on Hollywood Boulevard. What? Yep. There's a Wikipedia article on it. Clicking it. But yeah. It, w- oh, it's like not, it's not, it's not there anymore. <sighs> it was an adults only museum located in Hollywood. It closed down mid 2006 due to lack of business. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a thing people wouldn't want other people to know that they were doing. Like, hey, we're going to the erotic museum. Don't be ashamed of your interest in porn, you know? Porn, no, porn, no, porn, no. As long as it's legal. Mm-hmm. Porn, no. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I can deal with games and stuff. I would... It's. I feel like people are happy when they're there, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, kids are excited. There's certain and, parts of it that I, like, I don't like the, like people's ability when they get into something they just completely ignore everyone else around them like people that cut in front of you because they're not paying attention to where they're walking but that happens at like sporting events everywhere maybe that's why i don't like it well not i don't but the crowd part wouldn't be bad if everybody was just like oh we're excited to be here but it's like parents get really stressed out Mm -hmm. when they have to like bring their kids everywhere like it's the it's the combination of like excited People and really stressed out people. I think I said this on the podcast before, but the last time I went to a Disney park was like two years ago, and I went on the twenty-four hour day. Oh, right. And we got there at five a.m. and we were there until one a.m. and that never again. Like just like seeing the digression of these parents that we've seen all day. Like we meet, we see them again because we're all kind of <laughs> going on the same track, and I'm like, holy shit! Like how are you for twenty hours? That's you have crazy. your kid. Like just around, I'm like they need to sleep. They're kids. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Oh man, it was nuts. I, I could not believe it. I know that's that seems like a like that's a really fun idea. I feel like for people our age that are like you know yeah you're still we're still young, right? <laughs> oh, God, we um, are. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I am. I don't know about you. Like, yeah, I don't know. I would fall asleep, but I like just graduated high school. Um, I don't know if. At 28, you yeah. just graduated high school? Yeah, it was a super, super, was a super, struggle. super, super, <laughs> super, super, like. super. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't get his civics projects just done. couldn't get my... It's that gym credit, man. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it. Couldn't couldn't handle it. But just run a mile. It just doesn't have to be... Any time you wanted to... You could walk 10 it. 10 years to like, do it. I don't think I can. No. I don't think I can do it this year. I'm sorry. Just crying halfway just through. uncontrollably. <laughs> I don't think uh, I can do it. There's Coletta out there. I gave up again. He's crying. And it's... Uh, no, but yeah, but little kids, one, they need to sleep anyways, just so you can get a break, I feel like. <laughs> God. Yeah. Hats off to you parents who who can try and 
take your kids to stuff. People take their kids to conventions and stuff too. People take their kids on airplanes. Yeah. That's the thing that blows my mind. Babies the most. on airplanes is difficult. No, Toddlers I think, on airplanes I think, is difficult, but think, kids are fine. I think kids ages five and under should not be allowed on airplanes. Yeah, actually, I don't think it's good for their heads if they're too no. little, but whatever. Heads are going to pop off. Well, yeah, they're soft. <laughs> their heads are going to explode. It's too bad for their ears. Anyway, my ears. Yeah, that's. That's a different thing. We're not talking about uh, kids on airplanes. We'll positive spin later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh yeah, like big conventions with like because that's the same thing where you're like excited to see like a character or video game stuff or whatever. Yeah, and there's a ton of people, you know, and then you're sometimes I feel like those are the ones where if you're taking your kid to Disney or you're taking them to some convention or something. Half the time, you don't give a shit about it. Right? Yeah, so you're like, just going. You're just them. doing it because you want your kid to have fun or this is their thing. All those that parents you don't really taking get. their kids to PAX or Comic-Con that are just trying to like get them stuff. Why are my legs falling asleep? That's not Are good. you okay? Yeah, I don't know. My legs are falling asleep. Do you asleep. want me to punch you in the leg? No, thank you. Oh, that's I'm just going to stand up. Just going to stand like up? Like I'm doing stand up on this podcast. This actually looks really weird. It looks like you're about <laughs> to do jokes to me right now, and I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm just going to... Can I tell you why I like amusement parks now? Yeah, and as an adult. And theme parks. I guess, are these theme parks and amusement parks the same thing? Yeah, as okay. far as my research that I did earlier okay. goes. I like it because now theme parks and amusement parks are having themes... Which they didn't do before. Like now, there's like Harry Potter World or oh, there's I Star see. Wars World at yeah, the Universal Tomorrowland. Like yeah, all that. okay. At, yeah, at the Universal Studios in Hollywood, there is a like Simpsons Land that you can awesome. walk through. Isn't that, that is cool? cool? Yeah. So then, if you're a fan of that thing. Yeah, when there's I first, something for you there. When I first went to Harry Potter World, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is awesome!" Oh. That's what you did. Yeah, girl. You didn't bring up a point that I thought you would have, and I was going to let you have it, but. What? What about food? Like you get all these different like themed foods or like like Disneyland has the funnel cakes that are really good or and whatever, Disneyland right? Disneyland has pineapple Dole Whip, which is the greatest ice cream ever created. <laughs> I didn't necessarily ask for specifics, but yeah. I mean like there's stuff You're that... You're going to get specifics. It's like a, a special thing, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Or if you go to Epcot Center and you can drink across the world yeah, and, or you e- can, and eat across you can the eat, world. Yeah, I was going to say you can eat across the world. I went to Italy in Epcot Center and we had that... <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> I went to Italy in Epcot Center. <laughs> and uh, we had pizza that had uh, prosciutto and melon on it. What? Can okay. I tell you, I had pizza. In, That's amazing. I had pizza there too when I went there in Disney World. Isn't that nuts? We just did the same thing. What, what happened to me is we were starting to drink around the world and then it just became gelato around <laughs> the world. That's what had to Because they all have ice cream. Couldn't so just it like together. You cut it out and you're just like, I just want to eat this right now. Are you okay? Do we need to take a little break for your leg skis? No, I don't think I'm fine. I'm All right. I'm I think just it's just the angle of this chair, maybe. Well, or do you want to sit on this couch? Nope. That hurts my back. No. Mm-hmm. There, wanna... Here comes the real age. Yeah. Uh, yes, do you want us to no, strap just... you onto a stretcher? <laughs> Are you that uncomfortable with me standing right now? No, it's just I'm worried about you. I no, care about you, and I want to make sure you're okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Lex, please embrace really me again. <laughs> genuine, genuine moment here yeah. at the Hug Life. Are Monica's legs going to fall off? I don't know. If they fell off, I would still be your friend. Thanks. Get you cool like spider legs or something. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Like uh, Wild Wild West. Like yeah. <laughs> I do say. Do you realize that whole movie, we they're making the jokes <laughs> about him being black and him having no legs. Mm-hmm. Like they're just back and forth. And I'm like, how is this okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is a weird thing to be like, all right, you're black. And you're like, well, yeah, well, you have no legs. legs. That's the same <laughs> thing. And you're like, no, what? Oh, uh, God. I watched that movie very recently. And I was we like. We watched it together. Yeah, that was us. Yeah. Well, that was that fun. That was us. Usually it's going to be us. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I'd go spider legs. You go spider legs? What, not even like, what about uh, like, uh, like ostrich legs? Really fast. Oh, yeah. High knees. High knees. Yeah, that's good. Now I feel like you're just doing Pilates in our living room. Just stretching, literally, just (laughs) touching my toes. You're like, that's Pilates, right? That's what Pilates is. No, no. Like when I sit in a hot room, I'm doing hot yoga. (laughs) (laughs) So in here all the time. Mm -hmm. In our yoga studio living room. It is like a yoga studio. I wish you guys could see it. Ooh, could we lexically embrace Troy for visiting? Sure. Nice job, Troy, for visiting. <laughs> I'm back, Troy. I actually think he got to see the, he got to see the yoga studio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. Some other people have gotten to see the yoga studio. Yeah, dude. Yep. 
Uh, Let's stretch out those quads. Yes. Well, there was a Pilates instructor here once. Yeah. Uh, do you want a top five turnaround? Yeah, let's do it. How do we feel about... Well, actually... Or do you want me to talk about the convention that I went to? I kind of want you to do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, let's lexically embrace uh, Brandy and Vinny for taking me... Brandy and Vinny, you so guys are great. Maybe you can help me explain what it was. So it's called BlizzCon. Yes, it's Blizzard is, Entertainment's convention. Blizzard is a video game company yes. that only makes like six games, mm-hmm. but it's like Warcraft. It's yep, World of Warcraft, and then uh, Overwatch is another it's one. It's their new one, right? Uh-huh. And then Diablo. Diablo. Uh-huh. Let me see if you can name more. This is fun uh-huh. for me. Uh, 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 Star. Star. Craft. Craft. Starcraft. Starcraft. I knew that was a thing. Um, let's see. That's four. Mm-hmm. What are the. Oh, oh, uh. Shit. What's the one where he's. Is it an assassin thing? Yeah. Nope. An assassin thing? <laughs> where he's flying. Maybe Assassin's that's from Diablo. Creed. That's Ubisoft. No, I know, but. Uh. uh where he's floating. It's got these things coming out of his back. Uh, that's that's. Was that from Diablo? That's from, I think that's still from Battleborn. From what? Oh, ba- Overwatch. Sorry, oh. Battleborn. So what happened is Overwatch came out and a, movie, and a game called Battleborn came out and they were like the exact same game and everyone's oh, like, what the fuck's happening? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man, I really thought I was going to be able to get more. Mm-hmm. Heroes. Heroes of Heroes. the Storm. Yeah. Hearthstone. Oh, that's, that's another the one. one. Yeah, that's another popular one. Uh, those were the six that I saw. Yeah, those are the six. Those are like the six main ones that yeah. when you get there. So it's the Anaheim Convention Center, large establishment, right? Uh-huh. Lots of floors, different Flooring. stuff going on. People dressed up in costumes that I had no idea what they were, but very intricate, a lot of effort going Ooh. into them, right? Yeah. And then uh, there was like these huge spaces where people were actually playing the games. It was like world championships of the games. Ooh, so and you they had, had them like competitive video these gaming. big, like it would have been great to do like a special for a, a yeah. stand up show. Uh, but then they have all these computers up there. So they're just watching people play from the stands is weird. Um, but they were like super into it. But then there was also like, um, you know, beer and wine, wine, liquor, there's some liquor. Cocaine. And then uh, the most interesting part to me uh-huh. was to close the whole thing out. Uh-huh. Uh, one of the co-founders was there and he yeah. was saying stuff and very, uh, very confident, man. And then Weird Al. Yeah. Uh, you got to watch Weird Al. Out. Yep. That was cool, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It was interesting. Why? You don't think it was cool? Do you what? not like Weird Al? It was Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the first okay vote I've ever heard about Weird Al. That's the first okay you vote? What, mm-hmm. are, what do people normally... They love him. I think the people there really liked him. That's good. That's that's cool. Yeah, it was a lot. I felt like just a lot of people. Um, that was the problem for you? Just a lot of, I think We might have to pause for a second. Okay, that's fine. Just a second. We'll be right back here at Hug Life Studio. And we're back, <laughs> coming at you live from beautiful Hug Life Studios in the Pan, Panorama City, California. Oh, the Pan. I call it the Pan. Coming in hot from the Pan. Because Sean Jordan calls it the, the Glendale, the Dale. In fact, I, I, only, I don't even call it Glendale. I just always call it the Dale now. Everyone's like, well, what the I hell are you talking about? I call my mom Pan. Pan? Like Peter Pan? Like Hot Pan. Hot Pan and the Fox? Yeah, it gets weirder. I don't know <laughs> what to tell you. <laughs> Don't All right. know what to tell you. So we're doing the top five turn around. What is it this week, Monica? Well, since we talked about uh, theme parks and mm-hmm. stuff like that, this is the worst theme park attractions. Ooh. So you're going to tell us why the- you love this ride, All why right. you're into it, why, why you would I be like, hey, ride. guys, let's go to this thing. All righty. Okay, and I'm going to do... My laptop's not available currently, so I'm going to do my best to describe these. If you don't know what they are, because I didn't know what they are, obviously. Okay. So, number one, it's the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor, which is at Tomorrowland in Magic Kingdom. Uh Uh-huh. I want everyone to realize that the acronym for that is MILF. (laughs) (laughs) What it is, because you know at the end of the film, they find out that kids' laughs actually work better than when they scream. 
Oh yeah. So it's supposed to be a comedy club. So they joke and like they joke, but with they the kids. just yeah, but they like are just bombing really hard. Like they're just <laughs> not funny. So everybody hates it as well. All right, positive spin for that. Yeah. Hey, you want to do stand up comedy? Go see this attraction to know what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, kids. Tomorrow Boom. land. This is your future. You know what's really funny is my computer is screwing up too, so I'm going to have to restart it, but uh, we should be good. <laughs> all right. Like, we're just having all sorts of IT problems. Everything's right now. going insane yeah. right yeah. now. I can't. Yep. So I think I boomed that one pretty good. No, I think that was good. Yeah. Here's what not to do if you want to be a stand up comedian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, the Grand Fiesta, <laughs> which is with the three caballeros from, uh, like, the dis not the. The, like Daffy Duck, those ones. Uh huh. Um, it's at Epcot in Orlando, and it's in the back part of like a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like their biggest complaints were like that it's really historically and in historically inaccurate, and like they just like add characters to like weird parts, the weird scenes. All like right. it's well, the easy positive is it's in a Mexican restaurant, <laughs> so that's awesome. Okay, there's no reason to complain tacos, about that. There, God. there's tacos, there's chips, there's salsa. You nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I think a positive from that is uh, get to know the bad side of Disney. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. like then you get to see because people like are some people are just like Disney's the best. And I'm like, have you seen like the Song of the South movie? Or yeah, have you seen? there is some questionable. I mean, Pocahontas, none of that. Oh is yeah, all like that's yeah, and like especially what's I funny. Was watching it every time, I'm like, where's the rape? <laughs> what happened every to that time, part? <laughs> where'd that go? Where was that? <laughs> yeah. at? Oh, that's where you remember that part she died in Britain when she was sixteen. Smallpox. What's what's yeah. going on with smallpox in this film? <laughs> uh, the because uh, yeah, the uh, like for example, Splash Mountain is like kind of from characters from like that Briar Rabbit movie or whatever, which might be that wasn't the song. Briar Rabbit movie. Yeah, what was that one called? But that one's definitely got some racist shit going on. Oops, bad. my bad. I left my phone on. Super unprofessional. Jesus. Cheese and rice. All right. Next one. Twister, ride it out. It's at Universal in Orlando. <laughs> and it's it's based on the film, Twister. Oh, that's rad. Yeah, you'd think. And then it's a lot of like uh, videos of Bill Paxton being really <laughs> excited about, <laughs> about this storm that's coming. And then... Are you just in a super windy room? <laughs> kind of. And then they're like the, the tornado goes through the screen. And then it's like on the stage. But it's like kind of a shitty lazy special effect of like <laughs> smoke and that's it and then helen hunt and bill paxton won't be on the same she doesn't like him i didn't know that really that's what it said on this article this could oh, be wrong wow. but yeah i was like so it's like videos of him and then one of her later like away from him can i tell you this much <laughs> yeah i will go anywhere helen hunt is i love helen hunt I as an actress helen hunt. so i will go on that ride if you like who doesn't i've never met anyone that's like i hate helen hunt Bill She's, Paxton, well, apparently. Bill, well, Bill no, Paxton. I mean, hey, no. Bill, what are you doing? Uh, no, I agree, though. Big fan of Helen Hunt. Yeah. That's, yeah. I'd go just to see her. That's just to great. see Helen Hunt. Yes. Okay. Uh, Storm Force Acceleration, which is on, at the Islands of Adventure. Uh-huh. So that's in Universal Studios Orlando, I believe. It's supposed to be a Marvel yeah. thing, but it ends up being just like the teacup ride. <laughs> <laughs> where it just spins around. I, like I mean, okay, here's the thing, though, is if you told me you could go on a Marvel-themed teacup ride, like, that's a good sell to me. You're, yeah, you're I'm okay with the... it. I'm 100% in. Uh, also, um, teacup rides, positive. It's good for children. That's, that's like, a true. good intro to rides. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't if someone's afraid or to go on a ride, you go on a teacup. if you don't like rides, you can just stick with the teacups forever. Is that, that's what you do. Yep. That's good to know. See, that's... <laughs> Like that. That's good. Boom. I'm saying boom a lot right now, but I yeah. feel like it's good. Okay, so you could bring your kids on Bring it. your kids on Even it. Those. And then it's fact that it's a Marvel teacup ride. I wrote down, you just spin around. <laughs> you just spin around. Okay. And also, five. oh, oh positive sorry. for that. Sorry. Yes, no, keep going. You get to watch other people get sick and throw up, and that makes me happy. You like that? I think it's funny when other people get sick and throw that up. That is true. Every single time I've ever been to a theme park, someone has thrown up on oh, like that. Oh, for sure. Dizzy spin, whatever. The dizzy spin. What's that? Scrambler. He done gave me the dizzy spins. <laughs> Scrambler. I got the dizzy spins. spins. Uh, um, yeah, the Scrambler. The Scrambler? Is that, like a, like, is that a, like a fair thing? Yeah, it was a Puyallup Fair one where it was oh, like... Man. I have never been on a ride at the Puyallup Fair. 
probably say yeah, it. Yeah, I feel way. pretty good about that decision. But yeah, it like goes out and then spins too. Like there's like three of them on like a leg. <laughs> this is just a struggle for me right now. Uh, <laughs> this like leg thing's coming out and they spin, but then also the whole three legs spin. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I can tell. <laughs> I can draw you a picture if you want. Uh, Let okay. me draw you a picture. Yeah, I'll draw you a picture of the scrambler. You guys fucking know what the scrambler is. Okay. Yeah, everyone knows what the scrambler is. Anyways, yeah, spinning rides do usually cause others to vomit. To vom? Yeah, man. You're making me vom. Yeah, vomiting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> number five. Number five, Stitch's Great Escape. Stitch's Great Escape from Lilo and Stitch, right? Mm-hmm. Never saw that movie. Okay, so at the end of the film, he's like the nice stitch like whatever Mm -hmm. but in the beginning he's kind of a dick mean and so that ends up being this is magic kingdom in orlando it ends up being mostly what it is where he's kind of like angry but all it's so there's animatronics and they said that they didn't do a very good job but the biggest thing is that he just keeps like spitting and farting and stuff and that's like (laughs) (laughs) all it is like i I know kids like that stuff but kids like spinning and farting yeah yeah you know it's like two of their favorite things sometimes not even just kids like it sometimes 28 year old men who live in california like it spit a lot spit or spin spit Oh, I thought you said yeah, spin. Like the I thought you were like spinning and farting like a spitting and fr- oh, like, like a, a like, like a, a wind. You make your own tornado, like a, like toot a, tornado. a fartnado. Yeah, a toot tornado. A fartnado. That's a tootnado. Tootnado. Yeah, I like toot is a fun word. Toot's for a me. fun word to do. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> that was great. I kind of crushed that one. I feel you like you did. You really did. I feel oh. good. I feel like I'm in a good place. We have quizzes too, right? I we have quizzes, yeah. We got a lot to get done still, so we should probably just jump into the quizzes now and do the charity. Yeah, I got just like a ridiculous list here of charities. So You do? All right. Then let's do the first quiz. Let's do let's, it. Actually, let's just do the um, one quiz because we don't want to do the other ones related to a certain thing we don't want to talk about. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, okay, so, so we're, we're just going to do gonna this do. one thing. How much time do we have left? I mean, we're only at like... 40 minutes right now but oh. i feel like Is there it, another fun we could talk about something else i don't know we could, talk about something else. We could do a easy going one we could do a short one we, it doesn't matter we do what we want well let's let's start with this this, with this pizza quiz topping? we have yeah 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 what which, is what which is it? pizza topping are you is the name of the quiz it's very important this is a quiz near and dear to my heart you know yeah, pizza is near and dear to your heart most of the yes, time. Yes, it is. And my heart might die because of it. All right, which pizza? <laughs> first question. You got to pick a number between one and six. What's your ideal that's number? It? Yep, that's the first question. Um, t- five. Five. Yeah. Damn, good choice. Is it? Yeah, I think it's a good choice. I'm gonna pick four. Whoa. Take that. Pick your favorite singer. Selena Gomez, Beyonce, Adele, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, or Katy Perry. I chose Adele. That's a solid choice. I'm going to... Uh, Gaga or Beyonce, I feel like, is what it is between you, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what's happening. I've just been on this Joanne. If you guys haven't got on Joanne, there's some great songs on that album. Not all mm. of them, but there's some really good ones. There's one. I'm just going to talk about it because it's a positive podcast and I want to talk about what I like. Okay, that's fine. There's one with her and Florence Welch. Who's your favorite my favorite person? thing in the whole world. I don't know why she's not a fucking choice in this question, but it's called Hey Girl, and it's amazing. <laughs> it should be in other section. So if we're going right now, I've definitely been listening to more Gaga, so let's go Gaga for now. Let's go Gaga? I do. Are you going Beyonce Gaga still? for Gaga? <laughs> How would you describe yourself? Outspoken, ambitious, optimistic, hilarious, friendly, or chill? Where did you read it? <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, I already forgot what they were. Outspoken, <laughs> ambitious, <laughs> optimistic, hilarious, friendly, or chill. I uh, chose friendly, I think, when I picked this the last time I did it, so I'm going to choose that one again. I just don't think I'm like outgoing enough to just say hilarious all the time. Like I would say chill. Like It's just yeah, more of a I feel subtle... Like that. I feel like anyone that picks hilarious is a douche. Okay. Pick an Australian... <laughs> it's pick an Australian. Pick an American state. <laughs> well, I was like, I can California, pick an Virginia, New South Wales, <laughs> North Carolina, <laughs> Arizona, Texas, or Florida. California, Virginia, North Carolina, Arizona, Texas, or Florida. There's so many shitty states. I know. They didn't pick very good ones. Why is there only one? I mean, California, right? Like That's you what you're going to gonna choose. Yeah. I'm going to pick. I think I picked uh, t- 
Texas when I did it because my dad lived there. Right. I think that was my choice. There's good parts of Texas. Wow, we got the fucking same thing. Did what a we? broken quiz. We both got chicken, but just good on pizza. That's a wow. It's a solid topping. Yeah, it's not really a classic. I'd no, say. Yeah, I but mean, I do enjoy a good like chicken barbecue chicken pizza. I don't like barbecue sauce on chicken. I don't. Oh, you know what's good? It's like a pesto chicken, bacon chicken ranch. A pesto chicken. Have you had pizza? a chicken bacon ranch pizza? Have you? I haven't had yeah, one. Yeah, we used to make them at Sky High all the time. Why don't we make them here? One time, one of the guys who worked in the snack bar mm-hmm. liked for his own like pizza. Would put, <laughs> I'm struggling so much right now. Uh, would put ketchup as the sauce instead of like marinara sauce. That's kind of gross. Okay, it is. And he would like make one, and then that would be for him or the mm-hmm. other staff people or whatever. He accidentally sold it to a lady one time, <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't notice. Like, oh, I don't, oh, like, I don't like, know if they because it was like a shitty like. It's like kids place so maybe they're like well i guess the pizza here just sucks it's like when yogi and i were at denny's one of many many times and he got uh butter instead of sour cream and he didn't notice it (laughs) until like both yogi and i have two bits that from denny's that are completely 100 percent honest and true that's so funny yeah it happened and we were both together at the same time that's awesome yeah Yeah. he talks about dipping it in there like three times before he he realizes that it's and he goes he's like is that butter and i like put it on a knife and i'm like oh that's definitely butter like four pancakes too (laughs) it's like sweet (laughs) yeah when he had a quesadilla was the issue yeah yeah yeah. so he thought it was but he was then he's like like, no i'm not gonna say anything it's not that bad (laughs) If you thought, if you had to pick which pizza topping you are, not on a quiz, like what you believe, what do you think you are? Jeez, are we going like classic toppings? It can be can whatever be, you want. See, it, I'm more of, I think I'm a salami. It's like I'm... A cured meat? Yeah, I'm a nice cured meat. <laughs> Comes in tube form. Monica Nevy, clearly a tube of cured and meat. And you're not cheap. You're right. expensive. Yeah, We're yeah, yeah. You're a finer And I think topping. like... To get to this, you you got to think out of the box a little bit. Like most people are going, oh, pepperoni, right? Yeah. But I'm like, mm, no, salami. See, I really like to say pepperoni, but I really also like when you have just regular crumbled up bacon on pizza. Oh, that can bacon. definitely come in the mic. That really? fucking car alarm That's right fun. there. Well, you're, apparently bacon is a <laughs> bullshit pizza. <laughs> That's what that car alarm thinks about it's bacon like, on pizza. Fuck you. Fuck you, pizza. Sound the alarm, bacon bits. Sound the guys. pizza alarm. Sound the pizza alarm. <laughs> Does that mean it's here or that? Dude, I wish I had a pizza alarm that would just go off whenever I wanted it to. Would you get pizza? If I think the, the pizza alarm, alarm means pizza's meant- there. Like pizza's arrived. Got it. Now I'm torn between two names for this podcast, between pizza alarm and dizzy spins. <laughs> and dizzy tootnado. Dizzy spin. Damn it. Tootnado, I think. Well... We're trying to avoid like bodily function names, even though those are the best names for episodes. <laughs> so funny though, toots, hilarious, toot NATO, burps, fine too. Nice burp, yeah, that's good. Burp NATO. Really, you could put NATO on the end burp of anything. NATO. Just as long as you spin around during whatever, <laughs> the, whatever bodily function, jizz NATO. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just you got to spin in that a circle. That will not be the name of the podcast. <laughs> Is NATO. I was thinking P-NATO and you just went, you just stepped it right up. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of you. Other That's stuff why we that do this podcast together. Dicks, you know? <laughs> Blood NATO. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. I know. I just, I just grossed myself out. Okay. Hey, moms. Okay. Uh, anytime we say something terrible, I always think about how our moms listen to it immediately. Toot NATO. You know who thinks toots are hilarious? Everyone. That's so true. Doesn't matter. Also, you know, your mom's high as shit right now. Yeah, she so is. Whatever. She loves that <laughs> ox. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I took drugs. <laughs> I, don't know. I took drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck alright do you want to do the charity yeah Boo Bear. so you brought this up and I would look for a clip of it and I figured oh we could just play that clip but without getting too, that's really loud can you hear that yeah okay. it's fine but whatever too, too specific uh, it was a John Oliver yeah. episode last week tonight and at the end he was like if you really want to be involved in whatever you're upset about right now Make a recurring donation to the things that a lot of these about, we yeah. have talked about. Yeah, but the things that, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're all afraid of losing right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so some of the ones that they named, and these are ones that we, some of them we have talked about as well, uh, have the option to have a recurring donation, like once a month, you just give like five bucks or whatever. So then you're always supporting them and it's not that much like instead of, donating 25 bucks once you can do five all year yeah it ends up being more but less at the time so yeah uh aclu is a good one which is planned the American parenthood civil liberties union. union uh planned parenthood the trevor project border angels national immigration law center wounded warriors the naacp uh law department uh, the Conservation Law Foundation, any any of the other stuff we've talked about or you already support, consider setting up a recurring donation. I think yeah, that was a that's cool, a really good, it's a good suggestion. Yeah, I like it. And those are just thoughts. I mean, you know, you've heard other other charities from us, and you, I'm sure you have your own. Yeah. Things going on, so yeah, that's what's happening. It's nice. That was good. That was a good charity thing. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. I feel good about it. I feel good. You know I'm going to feel really good with? Fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks. Because mm. you've been thinking about them for a while. I have been thinking about them. It's been a long time since I've had one. Do you fish sticks fuel tootnadoes? You know, that's a question we got to find a scientist to ask. <laughs> <We have no laughs> scientist. Your question's giving me the dizzy spins. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. This was a good one. I feel happy. We explained mousetrap. We feel good. I already forgot what we did before. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Yeah, I do. I love all of you. All of you. Every single one. Remember that. Kisses. <laughs> I said kisses and you said kissing. Them. Oh, I have a new show. It got rescheduled. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be doing the roast battle. Oh, awesome. Because I didn't get to do it tonight. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so whatever day that is, Tuesday. Dude, you did a last minute plug. That means technically we didn't finish the plugs until the very until end. Until the very <laughs> end. We, wait to, we waited till what you think is only an hour, but was actually an extremely long amount of time. Because you were just, we were just like, remember the beginning? We were like, oh man, that was like the fastest we've ever done yeah, plugs. Yeah. Feeling good. I we were not wrong. I couldn't really, let us, I couldn't let us do the that. The plugs took about like 52 minutes, 53 minutes to get done. That's amazing. I'm That's proud a new of us. record too. We thought it was the fastest record. Now actually it was the longest, longest record. We're breaking records tonight. Yeah. Roast battle doing stand up on the 21st, probably. Do you want me to look it up for you I think right it's now? It's the 21st because I fly on the 22nd and I believe that's a Wednesday. It's a twenty. No. It's a twenty second. It's a twenty second. Yep. Motherfucker, I might not be able to do it. Never All mind. right, it's okay. We'll figure it out. It'll be on our calendar. Check out monicanevy dot com. Check yeah. out coletacomedy dot com. Check out a charity you like dot org. It's probably gonna be an org one. <laughs> if you go to donate to a charity and it's a dot com, it's probably not a charity. Just maybe. A, you know. All right, we're gonna go. Yep. I feel good. I feel great. We love you. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Don't leave me. <laughs>